Hello, Eclectic family. We are back on the ICCC podcast stage. We have Mark Dodd with us. Thank you so much. Dodson. Sin Dodson. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the paper again. I'm sorry. This is my 15th one again, too. Um, That's the only laugh you're going to get, by the way. I've been no. doing it all, oh, all day. Doing it all Friday. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it gets tired. I got his name right. It's hard the screen's it correct. Yeah. The screen's correct. I'm sorry, Don. I got your name right. So somebody <laughs> knows my name. <laughs> Mark Dodson. I am so sorry. Salacious Crumb. Salacious Crumb. Mr. From Return- Crumb to you. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the Jedi. Not just Salacious Crumb, but you did Gremlins. Um, you were also in the Ewok movie. <laughs> Nobody really cared until Disney just put it back well, on TV. Well, not me. I, I loved <laughs> okay. the, the Battle of the Ewok movie because, you know, Ewoks are fluffy and awesome. I love Ewoks. I love the Ewoks. Well, yeah, there's so, so much scary about the Star Wars universe that you see these little, and you're like, oh, finally something cuddly, thank God. Yeah, like, right, you're which right. Which I thought was you're interesting right. with that, that movie that it was more darker than the actual Star like the wit, the bird. Oh, Jedi? Uh, yeah, then Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Oh, no, the, the, the kid movie yes, with the, the kids. kids. Uh, the Ewoks Battle for Endor. Yes, thank you. Yeah, the parents get killed. Like killed. I yeah, don't even want to say all, it. And I mean, on, on a hello, every Disney movie ever. Uh, right. <laughs> she <laughs> is not wrong. You're, you're right. You you're are right. not wrong. That's like the Disney formula. It you is. You have these nice teenagers kill off mom and dad. <laughs> right. <laughs> Even where the parents are alive, like in 101 Dalmatians, you have this like insane dog murderer and as Disney, the main villain. Yeah, right. it's dark. So it, well, Disney not, didn't do it. That's what kind of scares me. No, but I'm saying dark. that's the typical for kids. That's true. Are dark. You're, not, right. you're not wrong. That is the... No, uh, you're right. Having but small kids is like when I sit down and watch movies with them, they're just like yeah, I don't have watching it and I'm like... Oh, oh yeah, oh I know, and I know. I'm it's like, like are my well, I was them? a kid too when Disney, and I, I didn't. I, I somehow that nope. part always I missed that. Right over the head. As a kid, yeah. I didn't think and about then when it. When you get older, you're like, like, oh my god. We were doing, a, <laughs> yeah, we were doing a podcast, and she mentioned it one time, and I was like, you just killed like every Disney movie I've ever watched. No. Like, <laughs> I, I never think of that it's aspect. It's traumatic. So Salacious Crumb, yes. Return of the Jedi. <laughs> I answer to that. One of the most. <laughs> <laughs> so salacious, Sal, Mr. Crumb. Sal, okay. um. that is my, my I like that. Do Sal, like Sal? <laughs> I, I'm Sal, yeah, Sal. That character to me, when it comes to Return of the Jedi, such a small, small character, but is big like Boba Fett. Like Boba Fett literally has one line, flies into a Sarlacc pit and dies. But he <laughs> blows up like this big, big character. Salacious Crumb You're to right. me is the same <laughs> Formula where this little monkey type like character who just Kowakian monkey lizard, Kowakian monkey lizard, what he said again. Um, <laughs> how you were able just to make it come come to life. Well, and the and Tim, uh, the puppeteer, Tim Rose, had a lot to do with him coming to life. And and he was but, uh, Admiral Ackbar. And he was Admiral Ackbar. He was in the Admiral Ackbar suit. I'm tired. And Cy Snoodles. <laughs> Oh yeah. He operated size noodles and lots of uh Henson, he did stu- Henson Muppets and I didn't realize he Tim's did Tim's been everything. Uh yeah, Dark Crystal, I believe. <gasps> that's right. Oh, that's oh, right. Gosh. Yeah, Dark Crystal. Oh. So yeah, but thanks. I'm, i I helped. I I gave it a voice, but you know, that there again, I've gotta really say because it, it was really such an accident that I did it and I did the laugh, and I didn't see the character, and so Ben Burt, he gave it a lot of life too. I gotta you, when you have characters like that that are puppets, right? I mean, that's what they are, you guys. You know that, right? It's not it's real. It's a movie. No, they didn't CGI that back. Then? And no, and it's not <laughs> CGI. Lucas special edition. It's that's not CGI. So you have a sculptor, you have the m- the creature Sorry. maker. I apologize. <laughs> I know I just ruined it. It's you took the magic away, oh, man. Took all the magic, but. But anyway, there's so many people that go into one character, right? And so, and then w- when it all comes together and works, how long have you been? That's the magic. I, go ahead, I still think that speaks. A, that's still a great credit to you because not everyone is a team player, and so the fact that you were able to collaborate with these people and make it come to life that well still speaks speaks a lot to the. Yeah, I mean, I come in after they, they 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 shot it, 
we don't do it on. I'm not there doing. You're it not. On. You were, so you weren't on a location to no, kind of no, no. do the voice as no. it was happening. Uh, uh, no, they have us come in and they've shot it and then we watch. A, not in that case, it was done wild, as they say. I didn't even. I just did a lot and then Ben made it fit. Ben right. Burt, the oh, wow. sound <laughs> Jedi of <laughs> of, of, of film, of, yeah. of film. Yeah, he's. <coughs> so what um, was the prompt they gave you? Oh well, first, so Make I was noises. I was gonna try out for Admiral Akbar, and I got so nervous I couldn't, and I walked. I said, Ben, I'm so nervous, I can't do this, and he's like, Oh, just take your time, relax, we got time. So I said, Let me blow off these nerves, and I walked away from the mic and went, ah, started <laughs> flailing with the script, <laughs> just, and I, it worked. Mm -hmm. I did a couple minutes of that. And I went back over, and then um, he he, say, he came over and said, "Give me the script." And I just really thought I had offended him, and oh. I thought this is over. <laughs> and he no, he turned around and said, um, "What you just did over there, I have a creature that that's going to be perfect for. So let's forget Admiral Akbar. Well, let's do a bunch of that today." Oh, Next wow. thing I knew, and what wow. he did, and that's a good question because he described. He started with, "You're," he said, "You're a little. your part." You're part, what did he say? You're part rat, part bird, part lizard. And you're this creature and you sit with just big job of the hut. And but um, so so you're so here's what we're gonna do. You're out in the desert, you're out in a desert, which would have been tattooing. Mm -hmm. You're out in a desert and you've been walking forever, and there's a big castle in front of you, and walk up to the castle, and you're tired. And that voice that you just did over there, just give me some of that. So I was like, <laughs> you know, I just started improvising. And then, then he said, okay, now you're at the castle door. You know, knock on the door and tell him you want in. And so I, you know, I'm like, I'm pounding him. <laughs> and it went on and on. And I will tell you that, the, so then I get in the castle and, um, there's a giant, I'm trying to remember, there's a giant, He's, Ben's telling me this, and we, we do some stuff, sneak around, there, so sneaking around, right here, and then he's, um, so this is the part, so he says, um, the, the, the giant fell asleep, Ben's got a pretty good imagination, <laughs> <laughs> so the giant, or he reads a lot of Jack and the Beanstalk, but, uh, sounds, like a dungeon, well, sounds like a dungeon master. Yeah, it sounds like D&D. <laughs> right? So, um, so the giant fell asleep, and there's a big piece of cheese. Sneak over and take his cheese and run and hide. And I did that. And that this was the part. Now, the giant just woke up. He sees you with his cheese. You're scared. Run and scream. So I'm, ah, I'm screaming. He says, he just caught you. Now, he's got you in his hand, and he just took the cheese. Tell the chi tell the giant to give you back that piece of cheese. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, you Okay, well, so then, so when we went and screened the film, that went, so the point of all this long-ass story <laughs> is that um, when Salacious chews out C-3PO's eye, and then get shocked by R2 two. zaps him in the ass. That's my favorite part. And he hits the roof <laughs> and he's hanging up there and he's yelling down. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is, can I cuss? Because what's in my mind, honest to God, is give me back my fucking jeans. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's what he's really saying. I will never watch Re Return phenomenal. of the Jedi without seeing that again. I'm going to need to update the subtitles on that movie now. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sure that's hope insane. that's not subtitled. I had to let it go this time. It's been so many years. I had to say what I'm really thinking, right? <laughs> George is like, can we just blur that just part out? Buck, can we just bump? Can we? Yeah. Um, that is amazing. But that's what I was saying. I thought to myself. So yeah. when you did the when you did the all the voices and stuff. He basically just pieced that all together. Yeah. To, you, you didn't, he wasn't, that's amazing. No, so like I say, there's like a good 20 minutes, a half hour, 20 minutes, I would think, of all of that. And where he's directing and doing, yeah. all, you know, I'm sure wow. he's on there. Um, and then like the toys that have come out, those are outtakes from that session. 
Oh. And I remember like this, scooby do doo scooby or whatever I say there. <laughs> I was like, I remember that. Wow. <laughs> ha have, you, um, have you been <clears throat> to Galaxy's Edge yet? No. Um, Disney needs to. Somebody should invite me. I'm thinking. I'm just saying. I hear there's a bunch of salacious crumbs. There is a bunch, and it is so. I got one. You've got one. Right on. There I got one too. <laughs> but I didn't go there to get it. Yeah, I say I, yours is a lot cooler well, than the ones you can buy there. Yeah, no, but know. when I was there the first time I went and I saw them, and a lot of these kids are buying them, and you know, because they go on your shoulder. On your shoulder. And you have this little thing, but they're all doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, they're all just yeah. I'm, that's I'm just, it. I'm like, wow, this little character who is small in Return of the Jedi is and just bringing joy to the, that's so awesome. all these yeah. kids. That's wonderful. And I'm like, just just because <laughs> it makes you feel like a little kid. Yeah. To be honest with you, that's yeah, how yeah. Slashers Crumb feels to me. Is he's that little kid who who just wants to cause chaos. And right. When you when you mess up the chaos, he just gets mad. He gets like, mad. Why? All I'm doing is eating eye here. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But no oh, well, his backstory is that he's sadistic. That they, as a breed of creature, that they're, they're a pet on the, on this planet, Koak. Mm -hmm. He's Koakian, right? Um, and they are sadistic little pets, mm -hmm. and they they laugh at seeing people hurt. Which I thought, well, I was perfect for the part because I, I love the Three Stooges. Uh, I love slapstick comedy. Yeah. And I don't really want to see somebody get hurt. That doesn't right. make me laugh. But I, so then I had this thing when I read the backstory. I was like, well, then, like, to him, Mo Howard is like a Shakespearean actor. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's like, he loves Mo. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Why I oughta. Why I yeah, oughta. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do it, Mo. <laughs> That's very good. Oh, I love uh, three the Three Stooges. <laughs> the Three Stooges. Yeah, we are the Three Stooges. Yeah, yeah, That's think, right. Uh, you are right? the Three Stooges. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, you it was it was just an interesting thing. Like when I go to when I first went into Galaxy's Edge and I, I saw what they were doing and how Disney brought Star Wars to real life. To life. And when we went in there, that's the first store when you walk in the back part that you see is the Salacious Crumb and there was tons of kids it really just on their shoulders. Just oh, that's awesome. That's and wonderful. I'm just like Thank you. That's good to I hear. feel like a little kid. I want. Is it sad that I want to go grab one and to do the same and thing? And do that? <laughs> no. And, and of course, like later on the day, I'm like, can I just hey, how you doing, sweetie? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but it's no, just man. so cool to know, to know that that came from you. Like they saw yeah. that in the movie, and they're like, that's how they see it when they go to Galaxy's Edge, and that's how they will always man. play with their toy. Well, and that's, thanks. That's got to be. <laughs> That's gonna be Stop. amazing. Stop. Stop it. Weird. You're making me blush. This isn't an interview where you're hype men. We're like, come on. <laughs> Mark, thank you so much for being here with us and giving us some time hey, today. Man. We know that great. these cons can be busy and can be really, really like, you yeah. know. We appreciate your time. We a appreciate lot. the well, time you've you. given yeah. us today. Thank and thank you for giving us the voice of the character who I, I think he's still lovable though. I still love him. I love him too. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's 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 adorable. He is adorable, but you're right, he is feisty. He's like, feisty. He's 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 <laughs> I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my wife will kill me. Okay. Uh, Mark, thank you, you so much for being here with us, and uh, have a great rest of the con. Right on. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.